Hey, what's up, Faithful? Um, just decided to jump on, do a quick pod with you guys, and I wanted to get out the studio and do a little something different. So I figured, why not come out to a great location like the Louvre? We out here, y'all. Faithful 101. Let's go. So it was good, Faithful. We back. Now, if you remember my last episode, I talked to you about these content creators and why you should ignore them. Since then, we've had Jeremy Fowler come out and he put out there that he spoke to two other teams about the 49ers. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly why he gotta ignore these guys. Works for a big organization, right? If you want to know something about the 49ers, he could simply call the 49ers and talk to someone there. But no, he spoke to two other teams to find out about the 49ers. What sense does that make? None at all. And that's the problem that I was talking about. These guys are not reporters or insiders or analysts. They're just content creators. And most times they're bad content creators at that, right? I mean, think about how many times you've seen an organization or the NFL report something and then these guys come along and they report it afterwards. I mean, that's not even content creation. That's content recycling. They're basically like garbage men, you know? <laughs> They're just putting crap out there that you already know. And that's part of that insulting your intelligence that I talked about. So you see, be mindful of that and just use your own common sense about these things. Now, to get to today's topic, you mean to tell me I'm chilling in France, been out here for a week, just having fun, minding my business, and I get online just to check in with y'all, and y'all still fighting over the quarterback? Seriously? Seriously? Do y'all have nothing better to talk about? You're still fighting over the quarterback. Now listen, I'm, I'm always up for a good debate. Don't get me wrong. But you guys aren't even debating. You're just arguing amongst each other. There's this weird infighting that I don't understand. See, you got Team Purdy and Team Lance. And I get it. You guys want who you want. But there's no need for the extracurriculars. There's a reason why these other fans out there like to call us the 40 whiners. It's because of what you guys are doing. If you're a team Lance, be team Lance. Root for your guy, but support that with accurate backup. You know, put the numbers into context. Don't embellish, you know. And if you're a team Purdy, don't be calling the team guy, team Lance guys, Trey Sexuals. That's a terrible name. No one's walking around calling you perverts, are we? But we can do that very easily. But if you support Brock, support Brock. There's nothing wrong with it. But come to the table with stats, with numbers, with reasoning, and don't embellish. Don't walk around calling him elite when you know he isn't. He has not reached that point yet. If you're a team Trey, don't walk around calling him the next Mahomes because you know you haven't seen enough to call him that yet. Be truthful and be objective. And that's all that's matter. That's all that matters. Just be honest with each other and debate it. If you're a Sam Darnold fan, and I don't know what you Sam Darnold fans call each other, you can make that up. As a matter of fact, leave a name in the comments. The best name that you come up with a Sam Darnold fans, I'll give away a free t-shirt. I'll just pick someone at random. A few people at that. I'm equal opportunist. So whatever name you come up with, drop it in the comments and I'll pick it out. But if you're team Sam Darnold, be team Sam Darnold. Root for your guy, but don't tear the other ones down. And the crazy thing that really has inspired me to do this video is I saw that James Richard failed his physical with the Raiders, and now you Jimmy stands are coming out of nowhere saying we should bring Jimmy back. 
what what's that about i don't get that one at all especially since you jimmy stams traded in your card and became perverts so does that mean you're going to trade in your pervert card and become Jimmy Stans again? It's too confusing. And you guys you need to make up your minds, all right? All of that stuff doesn't matter. Who you root for doesn't matter. This infighting right now doesn't matter. You know why? Because the only quarterback that matters is the guy with this on his jersey, the 49ers quarterback. That's it. It doesn't matter about the name on the back. It's about this one right here. I was in Chicago week one when Trey Lance took the field. We all cheered our heads off. We rooted for him to succeed. When the team got down, we rooted for him to do well and help the team come back. I was in Atlanta when Jimmy was on the field. We rooted for Jimmy. We wanted him to succeed. When the team got down, we rooted for them to come back. I was in Vegas when Purdy took the field. We filled that stadium. There was chance of Purdy, Purdy, when we were down, rooting for them to make a run and get back into that game. In all those instances, it didn't matter which guy was on the field because we rooted for them equally and we wanted them to win. And that was the number one thing above anything else rooting for the team to win, rooting for that player to succeed. And that's what you need to be mindful of. Because once the season starts and bullets starts flying, we're not gonna care who's in there. We just want that W. We don't care how we get it. If the defense wins it, if the running game wins it, if the passing game wins it, we don't care. As long as we get the W. And as long as we reach number six, because that's, that's the only thing that counts. Number six. So in conclusion, stop the infighting. It's ridiculous at this point, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't make sense, right? You should be happy that Brock is healthy. He's throwing right now. We don't know what he's throwing. Is it a regulation football? Is it a peewee league football? We don't know, but he's throwing. He's getting healthy. That's a good thing. Trey is finally fully healthy. That's a good thing. Sam is picking up the playbook. That's a good thing. We got a good quarterback room, just like we did last year and we had a deep playoff run. The only thing that can stop us is possibly us. So be happy about that. Now, I know y'all like to talk trash and be like, oh, all this is fake. But you can see there's people moving back there. This is real. This is all real. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pick up the camera. Ha ha, suckers. Yeah, uh-huh. How you like that? This is the actual Louvre. That's right. So yeah, Beto. You may have a fancy setup, but you ain't in Paris. So take that. <laughs> this is Ty. I'm out. Stay faithful, everybody.